All right, so, man, it's different once it moved over. Um, but we will be working on the money today, and it's going to be round two of the breaks. So it got me in round one. Um, so I'm going to go for round two, try to get the breaks knocked out today. Um, and I started looking up on some stuff. So the, the thing I'm going to do different this time is with the quarter inch brake line, I'm going to get rid of that and go with the 3 sixteenths brake line on the rear also. Um, I was looking and that's why they came with the adapters for those lines on with the master cylinder. It came with the 3 sixteenths adapter so they're kind of saying this is the size you want to use. Um, and then also I was looking and with the larger line with the quarter inch line that's for pretty much drum brakes. So I have disc on the front and rear. So the drum or the larger line floats more volume where the smaller ones, the 3 16 is going to have more pressure for the disc. So I'm going to, I'm not going to show you guys everything because I showed you in the other videos of me bending the lines and cutting the lines, flaring the lines and bleeding the master cylinder. So I'm going to skip all that get everything knocked out, get the line rebent, re-bleed the master, put the new brake lines with the new fittings on there, and hopefully no more leaks today. Um, but I'll probably move the car over just a little bit so when I lift it up, it's not that close to the Monty. Sounds like my neighbor's outside, so I might go give him a hard time for a second. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna be Trying to knock out the brake system today. If I do get everything buttoned up and there's no leaks, I might hit up Robbie or if I do it in time, have my neighbor help me bleed the system. Um, but yeah, other than that, after I knock that out, I will be doing some stuff with the dash. So I think I edited it out of the last one. Um, the plans have changed on that. I'm not gonna wrap it anymore. I'm just gonna repaint it. And then I got a dash mat for the top of it. But with the paint, I'm gonna be using this texture coating. So it's not gonna be flat, it's gonna have some texture in there. And then just re-dye it with the fabric dye. And if I have enough left over, I might do some of the trim pieces also with the texture spray and re-dye those. But before I do that, I really wanna get the brakes knocked out. So I'm gonna Get a little bit more organized first, clean some stuff up, and then start messing with the brakes. Alright, so I was starting to get the fittings for it. it. Took me a while. Forgot where I put them. But I was just wondering, I was like, oh, you know, why is, why is there a difference? Or why does it matter? But let's see. Look in there and see that it's an inverted flare, so. I'll put the quarter inch up to it. There's a lot of play or pivot room, so I think that's why it was leaking uh, in between the inverted flare and the brake line. But then the 3 16 pretty much just slides on there nice and smooth. So once it's tightened down, that should be able to seal. Only thing I'm worried about is with the one on the portion valve. Now it is a 50-50 um, distribution for the proportion valve, so 50 to the front, 50 to the rear, um, for disc to disc. It's not disc to drum, so I believe that should be the same 3 16 If not, it'd be weird for them to step it up to a quarter inch, so um, hopefully the one on the proportioning valve it's the same on the master, or else I might have to figure out a way to adapt a 3 16 up top and put a fit adapter somewhere to a quarter inch line. But I think with the 3 16 I think we should be all good. So I um, found the two fittings I needed. So I'm using those two. I have a few extra, but um, I just need two, hopefully. Just, just two. <laughs> um, but yeah, I have the 
3 16 is cut down to size, so I'm going to start shaping that and we'll go from there. So hopefully get it shaped, get everything on, get the master bled again. Well, I won't bleed the master until it would be kind of messed up, but um, uh, hold off on bleeding the master until I know these don't leak, but then I'd have to take them off again. And, um, so what I'm thinking is I might bleed the master, hook the lines up, and then hopefully they don't leak. So yeah, otherwise it's going to be a lot of back and forth, a lot of wasted brake fluid, and a bigger mess to clean up. So yeah, um, but let me get to it. I'll knock this out, cut you guys back on, hopefully once everything's done and there are no leaks. So actually waiting for my neighbor to get back with the truck so um, he had to take some tires up the discount so if I get everything done knock this all out I might be able to start the bleeding process hopefully if not we'll do it another day just getting ready to do the last bend and I was like oh man let me flare it before yeah I forgot to put the fitting on there <laughs> so I'm about to cut that off Put the fitting, reflare it, and then put a 90 degree on it. Man, I was that close. <laughs> I think I knocked the brakes out. So, did the new lines. Nothing's leaking. Pumped the brake a few times to see if fluid was going down, and it is going down on the front and rear. I checked the bottom where the proportioning valve is. It's dry down there, so I think we're good. I did have to redo this brake line again because I mentioned that I forgot to put the fitting on there and I went back and put the fitting on there. The flare cracked, so cut it a little bit shorter, reflared it, didn't look right, and I just ran out of material. So I had to pretty much redo the brake line and it looks a little bit better, um, but I did. Meant to bend this a little bit lower. That's why it looks a little awkward there. So if I would have bent it lower, it would have looked more like this back piece here, right flat right here, and then a 90 and a 90. But it happened. Um, still, still have to find. There's a little. Uh, it's a little tool you put in the proportioning valve um, for when you bleed them. So I know I ordered one. I just have to find it. But other than that, I'm happy there are no leaks. So, um, just a quick recap. Stepped it down to the 3 16th line instead of the quarter inch line uh, and used different fittings, brass fittings instead of stainless steel fittings. And I think we're on to something. So, I'm going to keep an eye on it, uh, make sure nothing else is leaking. And, um, yeah, make sure nothing else is leaking. Then, Either today or tomorrow, knock out bleeding the brakes. Um, those, those will be soon. Soon to start drilling in the hood. Um, but yeah, uh, you just throw all that stuff in the wherever. <laughs> you just throw it wherever. Yeah. All right. <laughs> um, no problem. But uh, yeah, I'll keep an eye on it. Thanks. Where was I? Letting the neighbor borrow a truck for today. It looks so much bigger in his driveway because it's a lot shorter. Um, but like I was saying, just stepped it down to 3 16 to the quarter. New fittings on there. Um, keep an eye on it. Watch for leaks. But I think I think we're good. Um, yeah, once I find the little tool you put in the proportioning valve, it's bright red, but made the mistake of having everything else in the garage red so um, I'll find that and try to get the brake <laughs> the brakes bled um, but in the meantime like I said I think I'll let this sit for a while um, not do anything to it I do have the header off so what I'm gonna do keep that there just in case right, I think we should be good 
Um, but yeah, have the headers off. As you can see, there's a little bit of blow by. Um, so, do have new header gaskets. So, those should fix the problem. Also, this piece here, I'm going to want to extend just a little bit. So, I might end up cutting it and add an uh, inch, half inch to it. Um, just a little bit it doesn't need much but I know once uh when I had the header on this thing was really struggling it was over that way a little too far so just didn't bring it this way and that flex pipe will help um so I think I think just add a little bit not much half an inch maybe and hopefully that lines up better because you can see that wasn't sealing right um but before I do that no, I'm working on dinner plans right now, so I probably have about two hours to play with. Um, so in that time, I'm gonna come over and knock out the dash. That's not gonna be its own video. I'll probably just throw it in this video, but I'll go over the steps. I'm gonna do with that one more time. Yep, oh, yep. Here it goes. So. Just this texture coating, I'm gonna use that because I don't want the dash necessarily smooth. I want some texture in there and texture coating. So I think it says, I'll wipe that down. And then it says, what? Uh, one of four light coats. So do a couple light coats, see how I like it, and let it dry. Let's give it dry time. And so five minutes between coats doesn't say a top coat time, so um, we'll see. Might just give it five minutes to dry, and then I'll put the top coat on it with that fabric dye. So once all that's on, the dash should be just about done. The dash mat should be here either today or by Friday. Speaker should be here Friday. Well, the four by sixes, not the three and a halfs. Three and a halfs already here. I uh, have the deck for the Monty. I had all this in another video, which I cut it out. So, went with the same one that was in the truck. It was actually $15 cheaper. So, I think the truck one, when I got that, is 55 bucks. This one, I think is the last one. I'm pretty sure they're swapping them out for the latest model you know technology so that one picked up for 40 bucks i figured why not um it's doing a good job in the truck might as well save some money put it somewhere else in the car so that's done need to make the face plate for it uh, i picked up the headliner material for the back got that all cut out and covered and all right cut out and painted so not a big hole in it in there anymore once the four by sixes come in i'll get these cut out i still need to order some grill covers or some uh, grills for the four by sixes so we'll knock that out but yeah i'm feeling pretty good now like i said i mentioned in the last one like february or last month i was having a whole bunch of problems with these things problems with the elco problems with this brake system but march is looking up a little bit so um yeah i'll keep an eye on this make sure no more leaks pop up if they do i'll let you guys know if they don't i'll let you guys know um but yeah i'm gonna keep eye on this knock out the dash i won't record any of that so it's just painting the dash pretty much um i talked to my neighbor up the street he also has a monte carlo but he has a trailer so i i asked him today i was like uh you mind if i borrow the trailer or how much to rent it so I'll be, go look at that on Sunday, uh, take a look at it, and if it is what it is, I'll figure out a price um, from him to rent it, and I'll have this up at my mom's car show on the 22nd. Um, just a small car show at her school for our after school program, so she asked if I could bring a car, and I figured why not bring Mona Lisa. Um, but man, <laughs> just so much room. This is how the car should have been the whole time. Uh, man, there's so much, so much room. It's crazy. Um, 
but man, look at all this room back here. <laughs> well, that's dirt, but all the, all the room. It's nice. Um, but yeah, so hopefully get the money all buttoned up and start on the Elko because these will go back to grind school. I hit him up, asked him if he wanted them back. He said they come in handy, so let's go back to him. But yeah, once the I think once the money's all buttoned up, I'm definitely gonna just order everything I need for the Elko, get that knocked out, and hopefully have both of them out this summer. Springtime, who knows? Um, but that's about it. But this will definitely be out in Ohio, July 13th for the Classic G Body Garage meet. Um, this one might make a lot more local meets. But yeah, it's it's getting close. If these breaks are all done, it's getting close. I probably hit up Brian School, have him come help me with the breaks. I know he'll probably want to get some content. Uh, see the car, the exhaust. Cause I know he needs some exhaust work on the Elko and the Impala and I think the Monty also so I told him hey I know a guy with the welder I know a I know exhaust guy so um, I'm pretty sure he'll have no problem coming over help bleed the brakes and adjust the shifter linkage so yeah get another collab with him pretty soon but yeah I think we're both both in that mood where it's like, yeah, car season's right, right, right around the corner. Um, I know the show he wants to make is a Lincoln Tech car show, so I think that's in April. Um, so might have to get this out there too. Who knows? Um, but yeah, that's it for this one. Just going over the brakes. Let's climb up under there one more time. I know you guys like that that view up underneath. camera around oh, take these gloves off yeah so portion valve it's dry it's dry I think we're good yeah this banjo bolt was leaking a little bit, but that's just from when I loosened it up to check it. Didn't tighten it up all the way, so let's tighten it up all the way. I need to really cut this line here. That's for the ABS sensor from the Blazer hubs, so don't need that. Um, what else? Definitely need an alignment. Definitely needs an alignment. So that banjo bolt's not leaking. We're good there. Yeah, I think uh, when I ordered or when I picked up the um, washers for the banjo bolts, I only had two of each size. So I might, before I start bleeding it, I might replace those two also. The backs, I haven't noticed anything leaking back there. I'll double check, but I'm pretty sure we're good once I find that uh that piece that goes inside the uh, proportion valve to bleed it but I like that view not a lot of people show you up under the car but to me honestly underneath looks better than uh, the body work so if you guys want to see it I'll say yes no problem Yeah, that's that's about it. Um, feeling pretty good. No leaks. We're, we're good. Uh, need to check the mail. I believe the boost controller showed up, and then um, I'd have to double check to see what was I talking about the dash mat. So that might have been dropped off too. But I'm gonna stop talking and end you guys there. Man, that texture spray. Definitely makes a difference. It's not perfect dash, but that's not show car either. But yeah, I, I like the way that texture, or uh, what was it? The texture spray, I like how that turned out. It's not smooth. 
on the dash, which I was trying to avoid, but it definitely looks good. Like I said, the cracks in there, not too worried about them. The dash mat will cover those. But yeah, I like the way that turned out. So I think I'm gonna end up getting another can of it. And redoing these trim pieces. The doors, I might leave like the cell panels and these trim pieces here and the trim pieces here. I'll go back through and uh, use a texture spray and then re-dye them. But I'm digging the look. I think it's close. Um, I still have to do the glove box. So I'll do that when I get the other can. The glove box and then um, the gauge cluster. Once that comes back, I'll do that trim piece also. And then I think I decided this uh, metal piece here, once I cut it out and everything, I think I will wrap it in the same material that I have this with. I talked to my um, talk to the lady that does my t-shirts and stickers about doing embroidery on it. Just uh, stitch my logo in there. She said she'll try it. If not, she'll just do it like she does the shirts and press it on there. So we'll have my logo on the dash. Um, probably won't center it. I'll probably have it offset like the little plaque normally is. So we'll probably do that. Um, and I think to mount it, I think there's some hooks that go in here. If not, I'll throw some Velcro strips in just in case or just screw it down. Who knows? Um, but yeah, that's it for the day. I'm not seeing any leaks pop up with the brakes. Um, but do one more double check. Like I said, I'm just letting it sit there and fluid hasn't gone anywhere. So we're good. Did check the proportion valve. That was still dry. So I think round two with the uh, brakes, I think I knocked it out. So I'm gonna call it a win for the day and I'm go inside, start getting ready and go to dinner.